Bolo Young versus Samo Hung Cambo. Hey there and welcome to the channel. Today, we're bringing you yet another exciting matchup between two celebrities. This time around, we're going all the way to Hong Kong to set up this bout between two of Hong Kong's most iconic actors. We're talking about Bolo Young and Sammo Hung. Before we dive in, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on that notification icon so you never miss out on any of our awesome content. With that done, let's get on with the business of the day. Before we begin with the action, let's meet our contestants and discover what they are bringing into the arena. We begin with Bolo Young. Bolo Young's real name, in fact, is Young Zai. But since he forged a successful reputation for himself as a martial artist, a martial arts film actor, and a competitive bodybuilder, the name Bolo Young has stuck. Young gained popularity with the Asian cinema following his different roles as a formidable villain, the most popular being his role in the movie Enter the Dragon, alongside the legendary Bruce Lee. In that movie, Young starred as Bolo. Some of his other unforgettable roles include Chong Li in the movie Bloodsport, where he starred alongside Jean-Claude Van Damme. Then he also starred as Chang Li in the movie Blood Fight, which also starred the likes of Simon Yam and Yusauka Karata. Bolo Young's foray into the world of martial arts began at the very young age of 10. Growing up, Young was tutored by several kung fu masters who helped him hone his kung fu skills to become an excellent martial artist. But martial arts was just one of Young's many interests. The Hong Kong native also fell in love with bodybuilding at an early age. After devoting lots of time and attention to this venture, Young became the Mr. Hong Kong Bodybuilding Champion, a title he held onto for a whopping 10 years. His muscular physique pretty much defined the kind of roles that Bolo Young would play in the movie industry. He was built perfectly for the role of the villain you'd love to hate. Unsurprisingly, Young was repeatedly cast in the bad guy role in the films produced by Shaw Brothers Studios. Young continued to work with the Shaw Brothers, starring in several films before leaving the production company in 1971. But while filming a Winston Cigarettes commercial, Young met the legendary Bruce Lee, who was so impressed by Young's talents that he offered him a role in the movie Enter the Dragon. It would spark the beginning of a blossoming friendship between the duo. Many years after the tragic death of Bruce Lee, Young would have this to say about the legend. There will never be another Bruce Lee. I am privileged to have had the honor of calling him my friend. After his success with Enter the Dragon, Young's true breakout film was Bloodsport. Acting alongside Jean-Claude Van Damme, who played the leading role as Frank Dux, Young took the role of Chong Li. And just as it happened between Young and Li, Van Damme and Young became close pals after shooting this movie together. The duo would later team up for another movie, Double Impact. Young would later star in a host of other films such as Tiger Claws, TC2000, Tiger Claws 2, and Diamond Cartel. Sammo Hung is a well-known name in the Asian movie industry. Hung is an actor, a producer, director, and more particularly, a martial artist. Hung is widely recognized for playing a key role in taking martial arts mainstream by incorporating the art into several of his movies. In doing this, Hung would act as the choreographer for some of the biggest names in the Asian movie industry, including the likes of John Woo and Jackie Chan. Hung was one of the earliest people to really make a mark in martial arts movies. Thanks to his huge achievements in martial arts movies, Hung, who is also known as Hung Kambo, is often called Da Go Da, which can be loosely translated to mean biggest of all big brothers or big, big brother. Hung made his major acting debut in the movie Shaolin Pilot. Following this, he went on to establish himself as a key figure in the industry. But beyond improving the popularity and the perception of martial arts among the Asian audience, Hung also provided several actors, directors, and technicians with their first big breaks in the industry. So what about Hung's childhood? 
Hung was born in British Hong Kong on January 7, 1952. While both his parents were wardrobe stylists in the movie industry, Hung spent all of his childhood with his grandparents, who were artists themselves. He enrolled at China Drama Academy and became a part of a performing group known as Seven Little Fortunes, a group that would later welcome Jackie Chan into its fold. Hung made his movie debut as a child actor in the 1962 movie Education of Love. He would also star alongside Jackie Chan in the movie Big and Little Wong Tin Bar. Following a few appearances in some movies, Hung became an assistant director while working at the Shaw Brothers studio. While serving as an assistant director, he also worked as an actor and as a stuntman on different occasions. Some of his most notable stuntman gigs were done in the movies The Angry River, A Touch of Zen, The Fate of Lee Khan, and Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. In the 80s, Hung performed an iconic trio with Jackie Chan and Yuan Biao, and the three actors came to be known as the Three Dragons, as they appeared in several films together. Hung would later go on to produce a plethora of successful martial arts movies under his four production companies, establishing himself as a key player in the movie industry. Now that we've met our celebrities, it's time to get into the arena and see who comes out on top in this duel. For this matchup, we'll be judging each contestant across four main categories. These are fighting pedigree, physique, skill, and improvisation. We'll award a maximum of 10 points to each fighter for each category. And in the end, the fighter with the higher cumulative points will be crowned the winner. Let's begin. Fighting Pedigree. This is a close call as both Young and Hung are remarkable martial artists and are well trained in their arts. We'd respectfully call this one a tie. Eight points to both Young and Hung. Physique. In their prime, Bolo Young stood at 5 feet 6 inches and weighed 70 kilograms, while Sammo Hung also stood at 5 feet 6 inches but was 5 kilograms heavier than Young. That said, being a bodybuilder gives Young an advantage here, so it's 8 points to Bolo Young and 7 to Sammo Hung. Skills It would be unfair to knock one of these stars over in the skills department. These guys are supremely talented with lots of skills and techniques in their arsenal. So yes, we'll call this one a tie as well. Eight points to both fighters. Improvisation. Watching a duel between these two guys will be a sight to behold. There's no reason to think anyone will have an advantage over the other when it comes to pulling out stunning moves and tricks. Sorry folks, these guys are neck and neck again. Eight points to both Young and Hung. The verdict? It was always going to be close. There's hardly anything to choose between these two. But clinching the victory just by the skin of his teeth is Bolo Young with 32 points compared to Sammo Hung's 31. We won't be surprised if you disagree with our verdict. This was a pretty close one. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Thanks for watching till the end. We'll see you in our next video.